The Bundelkhand region, located in central India, is made up of 13 districts in the states of Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. Its famous Khajuraho temples are a hot spot for tourists. And this place is also the proud home of legendary Rani Lakshmi Bai. But in spite of being rich in minerals, Bundelkhand is counted amongst the most backward and poor regions of India because its main occupations, agriculture and animal husbandry, do not yield much today due to climate change. The farmers are already handicapped by the high rate of seasonal migration of able-bodied males. The erratic weather conditions being experienced lead to wide swings of very heavy rainfall or no rainfall. This is leading to farmers finding farming risky and as a result, the people are in danger of losing a major source of income and employment. This is where Development Alternatives is making efforts to create awareness amongst the policy makers as well as the community about the risks posed by climate change and to identify measures to adopt. After a thorough field study done by our team members, we analyzed that the region is facing a severe downfall in its agricultural activities because of scarcity of water and migration of manpower to cities. Here, people do not practice or rather are not aware of the water harvesting measures. Neither do they know the process of selecting the right crop to suit their changing climatic conditions. To solve this, communicating with policy makers and the community became necessary. So we adopted a direct medium of communication for the former and an acceptable as well as reachable medium of communication for the community. All these efforts come under the Sunehra Kal or a Golden Tomorrow campaign. This project communicates the risk of not adapting to climate change for a better tomorrow. We realized that we needed to make the policy makers and the community understand and accept the issues before making efforts to resolve them. To do this, we first tried to understand the situation. A team was formed to do the situation analysis of the villages on the aspects of agriculture, how they use water, from where they procure it and important elements of their heritage. The team observed that people's awareness on the risks of climate change was very low. They had too many other grievances towards the government. And because of prolonged suffering without any sign of relief, people's threshold level was high. They were skeptical, not used to experimentation of new methods and techniques due to their declining income. Also, preference of largesse over change in lifestyles was witnessed. The first leg of the strategy was to get the government circles to accept that the issue of climate change is a crucial one that demands action. The next step was to ensure that the theoretical framework was complete in keeping with scientific and holistic facts. Here, R.K. Swami BBDO was appointed to look at means to trigger appropriate behavior change at the community level. To begin with, Development Alternatives got a leaflet designed to invite stakeholders and policy makers to an interactive workshop where they can discuss and plan ways to take action to cope with climate change. The workshop of Sunehera Kal where officials from Agriculture Department, Water Resource Department, Natural Resource Department, Subdivisional Magistrate and many subject matter experts from Bundelkhand University were participating, brought immediate attention to the issue that demands change before the changing climate affects us. After extensive discussions and suggestions on how to proceed further in a methodical manner, it was decided that a core group may be created as a first step. It was agreed that this group should consist of representatives from key government departments, research institutes and representatives from Taragram Development Alternatives. Then we reached the heart of Bundelkhand 
and its people through the medium of folk theatre, enacted by a musical group. The members of the folk theatre enacted the threats of the changing climate and the ways to win over them. The story is parallel to the ways in which Lord Ram, a revered god, attained victory from the evils of Rama. The performance was interactive in nature, which led to people from the audience sharing their grievances with our team members. Also, a chart was developed and displayed during the folk theatre performance to show people the threatening picture of climate change. The play was also recorded by the community radio team and broadcast over Radio Bundelkhand. Radio programs are being prepared on queries raised on alternate crops and government schemes by the audience. Now we got our team together for an impact assessment research in the villages where the activities took place. 60 people from both exposed and unexposed groups who witnessed any of the three activities were questioned in the three-day long assessment. According to the results, the folk theatre performance appeared to have efficiently delivered the desired message. <laughs> While the chart was observed by only a few literate people, those who observed it reported a better understanding of its message. It was noted that the chart needed to be displayed prominently for a longer period of time, perhaps at a public site. The feedback showed that the ladies could not read the chart as they had to be veiled in front of the menfolk and sufficient prior intimation would have resulted in more people attending the meeting in which many myths were cleared and some important tips were shared for a better livelihood. While it is always tempting to say that tomorrow will be better, it is not easy to convince the hardy, sceptical folk of Bundelkhand that indeed this is a fact. It is heartening to note the interest various people have shown in looking at sustainable alternatives. We know that we have a long way to go. Our effort is a beginning to prevent an end so that we can concretize the promise of a Sunehra Kal.